Hey, Boaz here with Next Pittsburgh. We've got a special installment of Yinzer Backstage Pass. We are here on Pitt campus, and we're visiting a place you've probably never been before. It's their energy center. This is where they monitor all the energy that's being used across campus. And to explain to us what we're about to see, we've got Al here, who's the, the Director of Building Systems. Did I get that right? Director of Building Systems. Oh my gosh, I nailed it. Okay, so we're in some sort of like NASA mission control right now, it looks like. We are looking at a ton of screens. So can you tell me what we're looking at? Basically, th this is just the, the central location where we have all of our building automation, energy management control points, all tied into common systems where we can manage and monitor every point across campus at one central location. And so are you worried that there are 852 open WOWs right now? And what does that mean? Well, well, a WOW is a work order. Okay. So, so that's, that's a good thing. Okay. So, so they're open, they're in progress, and, and that's how we track uh, you know, our progress with all the faults and the, the troubles that we find in, in, in our diagnosis of the systems. And so what, I guess, like, what would be like a code red scenario here where something's like going crazy and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a water main break or oh my gosh, there's a, one of the buildings lost power. Like, is that the kind of thing you would be seeing here? There are lots and lots of different examples. So the power example you just said, that, that's exactly what this monitor is right here. So we, we monitor electric usage across campus. Any of our buildings on that screen lose pow power, they'll pop up red. We know to dive into action, start trying to uh, figure out what's going on. And so all those green buildings, those are all pit buildings across those Oakland. Are, those are all our facility management buildings. Uh, so there's, there's more than that, but that's what we monitor in this station. Wow. And so what other things can you see on these different screens? I see looks like some sort of heating or cooling system over there. We have 65 buildings tied into this, this network. That's every air handler on campus, every pump on campus. Everything is tied in, and we can monitor real time. What you see on that screen and all the uh, inputs and outputs and the data, there's over 900,000 points that we monitor in this, this room alone. How down to the details can you get? Can you see, like, why is this person using their microwave so much in this one dorm room? Not to that level. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 pretty, that's pretty detailed. Uh, but but building-wise and, and distribution-wise, absolutely. But, but not down to plug loads. And now we're here with Aurora, who's the Executive Director of Sustainability here at Pitt. And I guess behind us, we're looking at, what are we looking at, some cooling towers? We're looking at some cooling towers, but I think they're emblematic of how the university really implements efficiency across a number of systems at the university. Um, we've been doing retrofit projects in buildings over the past several years to the tune of 35 or so projects, saving over a million dollars in the past five years alone. And you mentioned that you're starting like a new project to capture rainwater. Yes, so in our chiller plants, uh, we're actually putting in an underground uh, system to capture rainwater that will be reused in two of the university's chiller plants on campus. Cool. Are there any like big like pie in the sky ideas that just seem crazy sustainability wise that you'd like just turn all of Oakland into a park and all the cars would be underground or something? I mean, part of that was done at Shenley Plaza several yeah. years ago when they uh, tore down a parking lot and put up Paradise. Um, but it, it's a nice project that, you know, we we're putting in uh, to use a lot of those pie in the sky ideas. The stormwater reuse for chiller plants is one of those. Uh, we have some amazingly efficient new buildings in design and construction uh, right now. But those existing buildings that we talked about earlier, those are, are what's managed here in the energy center. And they're really the challenge that's representative for a lot of building owners and property users nationwide, right? To really get at that energy use reduction um, and reach carbon neutrality globally by 2050. So, yeah. Carbon neutrality by 2050? Yeah, that's the, the global goal for carbon neutrality set out by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Um, the university's goal is to reach carbon neutrality for the Pittsburgh campus by 2037. 2037. Do you think you'll still work here then? Um, numerically, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I think uh, like reaching that goal and some of our you know incremental goals for buildings, that's something that many Pitt employees and students are invested in when they're here on campus and as they go out into their next professional adventures, especially students, um, really taking that culture of sustainability and efficiency uh, out into the world. Well, 
Gosh, I'm excited to try this um, chilled water, your rainwater chilled water in a couple of years then. Well, you're not going to try it because it's not a drinking water. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a cooling mechanism. Gosh, I like the idea of drinking like pure rainwater. You definitely don't want to do that. Allegheny County Health Department will not let you do that. Okay, okay good to know. <laughs> What's been like the craziest day on the job here? That's a big one. Has there been a day where you had like just crazy power outages or like a flood somewhere? Well, uh, probably a good example would be a few years ago when a Duquesne light manhole blew the lid and, and all of Oakland lost power. So that was a pretty crazy day. Oh my gosh. And what do you do in that scenario? Well, w with available power, you know, they, they switch loads around. So we have to curtail uh, systems and we have to cut back where we can. Uh. And I hear that you also control the victory lights here. Is that true? We do. We, we, there's a couple of people, so, so in, in up in Peterson, they can also enable the victory lights. We can enable the victory lights, but they are controlled through our system. Could you, like, show us how to do it without doing it? We could. Do you also get to choose if they win the game? That's beyond our control. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gosh, we're hacking into the system here. It's happening. This is just nuts. There are so many things. How do you, like, how do you hold all these things in your brain? Uh experience yeah. doing it over and over and over how long have you worked here i've been at the university 17 years now oh my gosh there's the victory lights there they are so from this page we can simply uh click a button and turn the victory lights on and you can't turn them on for just a second right now right we're not allowed to uh, i think that would probably be a bad idea okay 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 then we just we just have a timer built into the sequence so the next morning it automatically turns off wow I guess I should add, uh, since we're looking at the photograph, that historically the victory lights only lit up the cathedral. Uh, a few years back, they added these giant spotlights, oh. and that became an issue. Uh, so, uh, with with bird migration, so we actually installed a duty cycle timer, so that when the spotlight is on, it automatically cycles on and off to avoid any conflict with with any birds. Have you ever done like a giant April Fool Fool's joke from here where you just like make all the lights and all the classrooms go out or anything? Absolutely not. No, okay. All right. No jokes here. We're just here to make sure everything runs smoothly and efficiently. I'm just here to sort of cause some hijinks. Sorry about that. Gosh, well, Al, thanks so much for the tour. Any lasting words of, of wisdom relating to energy or pit? We, we put a lot of effort into it. It's not necessarily a word of wisdom, but we put a lot of effort into our energy conservation and, and efficient operation, and, and, and uh, you know, we try really hard. Gosh, well, thanks so much.